evening with an ideologue. To the left of me, Mr. Sudhindra Kulkarni. Mr. Kulkarni, you have been, of course, associated with the NDA one in an extensive way. You knew Mr. L.K. Advani very well. You knew Mr. Vajpayee very well. Even at that time, would you agree that the conversation around the right was sort of patronizing practitioners, whether they were activists of political parties that espoused a worldview that coincided with what is loosely described in this country as cultural nationalism, were thought to be vandals, their dulls were full of reactionaries? Or are we seeing something different here? Because I see it as a continuum. But here we have a situation where many people think that this is only particular to NDA 2 or 2.0. Thank you, Rahulji, for inviting me. <clears throat> I find myself in a very peculiar position in this debate. As I walked in, I was going to sit there. And he said, no, you sit here. So you made me sit on the left, assuming that I am on the left. Now, what is peculiar about me is that in my long political career, I have been with the left. I was part of Mohammed Salim's party, CPIM, and I've also been with the right, the BJP. For a long time, 16 years, I was with the BJP, I was with Vajpayeeji, Advaniji. So there is a lot of left in me, and there's also a lot of right in me. And I'm grateful to both. I'm grateful to the left, I'm grateful to the right, because I believe that India needs both what is good in left and what is good in right. And I have never believed in demonization of the right by the left or of the left by the right. This has done a lot of harm to the intellectual discourse in India and to politics in India. And it has come in the way of politics of cooperation, politics of consensus building for what is good for India. Now, let me give an example of how when I was in the BJP, we didn't have this uh, demonization of the left by the right. You know, unfortunately, the left has demonized right, and right is now demonizing the left. Hmm? I'll give you an example. On the 19th of March, 1998, the BJP leading the National Democratic Alliance, NDA1, came to power. In the morning, Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee was sworn in, his cabinet was sworn in, L.K. Advani became the Home Minister, and unfortunately, the same day, E.M.S. Nambudri Pad, a towering leader of the CPIM, passed away. What did Vajpayee do? You know, he sent the very same day, the very same evening, he sent Advani ji to Kerala to participate in the funeral as a representative of Vajpayee ji's government. And at the funeral, Advaniji paid rich tribute to EMS Nambudri Path while stating that we have ideological differences with the communists. Nevertheless, we recognize and we respect all that was good in the Communist Party and, of course, in EMS Nambudri Path. Can you imagine something happening today? There is such vicious propaganda against the left by the right. Unfortunately, the same kind of propaganda that the party of Salim, Comrade Salim, indulged in against the right. So, friends, I believe that India is a land of uh, diversity, not just religious diversity, not just cultural diversity, but also ideological diversity. There is no monopoly for any particular ideology or any political party in India. Every party, every political ideology, left, right, center, everything has a place and everything has to be respected. And we need more and more cooperation amongst all these different ideologies. And for cooperation, we need dialogue. And I expect that this particular dialogue, as you very rightly said, constructive dialogue. So let there be a constructive dialogue between the left, right, center for the good of India. Thank you.